is uh, in a very weak position. And uh, now, since a couple of months, we see also that uh, the German market is getting weaker and weaker. But nevertheless, you know, uh, if your brand has a good values, if your product uh, is in good shape, uh, you should not fear a market which is going backwards. So um, we fight back, we have good product and uh, we feel at least because uh, of our international presence, uh, let's say in a good balance. Can you tell us anything about your February sales? January was excellent, February was very good and uh, January, February together was uh, once again a growth pattern in our history. Um, when do you think we can expect to see an, an upturn? I mean, is, is it too, ho too much to hope for an upturn this year? I think we will see, at least in Europe, still the next uh, 12 to 18 months weak markets. There is no big surprise in uh, coming upwards uh, by customer uh, desires. Looking outside Europe, uh, where are we seeing growth? I mean, we did see last year some easing in demand for luxury cars in China, for example. Uh, what is your feeling on China now? Uh, we have a very good feeling in China because uh, January was an unexpected growth of uh, more than 30%. And also February was quite okay, beside of the Chinese New Year. And uh, we see further on a growth pattern in China. And uh, we also expect growth in South America, in North America, but also in uh, Russia, for example. Looking globally, you, you were talking about being the number one luxury car maker by 2015. Haven't heard so much about that recently. Are you, are you changing that target? We said that uh, until 2015, we want to sell 1.5 million cars. Uh, 2012, we got the 1.4 million barrier and uh, we are working heavily on that. And then we already fixed new targets, additional growth patterns. So we want uh, to grow up to 2 million units until 2020. We saw a lot of nice, uh, also ambitious targets from Mercedes and BMW. So uh, the competition is on. So number one by when? 2020, by increasing numbers. Okay. Um, now, um, the Euro, uh, also obviously a key factor for you. Are you, are you comfortable with where the Euro is now? Yeah, I think so. 1.30 is uh, quite a realistic figure for the euro, if you compare it to the US dollar. In terms of segments, where, where are you going to be looking for growth? I mean, you, you seem to be making a big bet on SUVs, for example. Is that, is that really where you see the growth now? First of all, we will see growth in the A family, in the A3 family. And uh, nevertheless, uh, we see additional growth in the Q family. Because the SUV segments, as a trend, will grow in all the markets all over the world.